this one. So if you want to start, to, we'll start laying down. So whatever, whatever feels comfy. So we can have feet on the floor, knees bent, or, or legs flat, whatever feels best. Got yourself comfy. We'll just gently close the eyes. Just take a couple of really, oh, we've got some movement, really deep breaths. I'll just let go of any tensions or frustrations that we might have. Just start relaxing down then from the very top of the head. And relaxing the temples and across the forehead. And just releasing down the neck and across the shoulders. Relaxing all the way down to those fingertips. And just bring our attention onto the very top of the spine. And just start relaxing then piece by piece down the spine and just noticing where we're holding on to any tension there. If we do come across any areas that are feeling a bit tight, we'll just let them relax. Moving our attention down onto those hips. And then we'll soften all the way down the backs of the legs. All the way down to the soles of the feet. And so now that we've noticed where we're holding on to any tension through the body, we'll just let the whole body relax down into the mat. So any areas of tension are just dissolving away. start to focus on our breathing. So in and out through the nose if we can. <clears throat> Starting off with our deep abdominal breath. So pop hands on your belly if it helps you focus. And as we inhale, the belly rises. And as we exhale, the belly falls back down. Breathing in, the belly fills up. And breathing out, the belly falls back down again. Inhaling, the belly rises. Exhale, the belly falls back down. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then we'll move on to our full yogic breath. So again, if it helps, we'll have hand on belly, hand on chest. And this time then as we inhale, the belly, chest and collarbone rising up. And then as we exhale, collarbone, chest and belly fall back down again. Breathing in the belly, chest and collarbone filling up. And exhale all the way back down. 
breathing in and all the way up to the top. Breathing out all the way back down. Breathing in. And then breathing out. So trying to keep your breathing going like this for the rest of the class. So just checking in on it um, and taking a bit of an easier option if you need to. And as always then have a rest or a drink if you need one. Um, just doing whatever feels best for you this morning. So working with your body. We'll start warming up then. <clears throat> so with our next inhale, let's take a full body stretch. Just reaching those arms overhead. And as we exhale, let's roll this right leg in. So grab round your knee or shin, draw it in towards your chest. And just point toes to the ceiling and down to the mat. So moving the ankle up and down. And we'll start to draw a circle with the toes. So just moving the ankle round in one direction. And then back round in the opposite direction as well. So let's grab the back of the leg and take this right foot to the ceiling. Um, and again, you can keep your knee bent there if, um, if that feels better. Also, to make it a bit easier, if you need to, bend your left knee and bring your foot on the floor. Um, and that takes a bit of the stretch off as well. So keep the lower back pressing down. We're going to do the same thing. So toes to the ceiling and then moving it down towards the body. So moving the ankle. And then we'll start to draw a circle with the toes. So moving the ankle round. Going back round in the opposite direction as well. Great. So with an exhale, draw that knee in towards your chest. Grab round your shin, your foot, wherever you can. We use a strap around this right foot. So we're just going to draw this knee in towards your right armpit. Like a half happy baby pose. Just pulling it in as far as feels comfy. Taking some deep breaths. We try and keep that lower back pressing into the mat. Great, so with an exhale, let's extend the legs back out. Inhale, full body stretch again. And then as we exhale, left leg comes in this time. So draw the left leg towards your chest. And then we'll point the toes to the ceiling and down to the mat. So move the ankle up and down. And then we're starting to draw a circle with the toes. So just rolling the ankle round in one direction. And then back round in the opposite direction as well. Pop hands on the back of that leg then, take the leg to the ceiling. Again, keep the knee bent or bend that right knee as well. So the right foot's on the floor to make it a little bit easier. And we'll do the same thing. So toes are pointing up to the ceiling and then down towards the body, moving the ankle. And then we'll start to draw a circle with the toes. Rolling it round in one direction. And then back round in the opposite direction as well. Great. So with an exhale, let's bring this leg in. So again, you could grab around your shin. We can grab the left foot onto um, the left hand onto the left foot. We we'll use a strap and put both pieces of the strap into your left hand. And then just working this knee in towards your left armpit. And if it feels like too much, keeping this right knee bent still. Brilliant. So with an exhale, we'll bring this left leg back down, take the legs back out again. Inhale, let's reach those arms overhead. So we'll take a side stretch then. So just moving the legs over to the right and then pop your left ankle on top of your right one. And then grab hold of your right wrist and start to reach the arms over towards this right side. So we're stretching down the left side, so sort of a, a banana shape from above. 
So reaching the arms over as far as you can, and moving those legs further over for more of a stretch or bring yourself back to center um, if it's feeling like too much of a stretch. For some deep breaths, so stretching all the way down that left side. Great, so with an inhale, take that left ankle off the right one, bring your legs back to center, bring the torso back over as well. Move the legs to the left this time, so right ankle can come on top of the, um, of the left one. And then we're grabbing that left wrist and moving the arms and the torso over towards the left side this time. So we're stretching down the right. Again, taking some deep breaths and straightening up if you need to. So with an inhale then let's bring ourselves back to center torso first take that right ankle off the left one and bring the legs back together as well let's draw the knees towards your chest give them a squeeze in moving that weight around and on the spine so rolling from side to side a little bit and when you're ready, let's roll ourselves over onto our right hand side. Take a couple more deep breaths. And when you're ready, then we can come up to seated. We'll get warming up the top half. So legs wherever they feel comfy. We'll drop the chin towards the chest. Let's give those shoulders some real big rolls and roll them up towards your ears and down the back. Taking some real big circles of those shoulders and just rolling them round in one direction. And then back round in the opposite direction as well. Great, so bring the shoulders down away from the ears. And with an inhale, then let's just roll that neck gently over to the right side. So just roll it over as far as we can. Shoulders stay nice and relaxed. As we exhale, bring it back to centre. And then inhale over to the left. As we exhale back to centre again. Same again, then inhale to the right. And then exhale back to centre. Inhale over to the left. As we exhale back to centre. Great. So with an inhale this time, then bringing your right ear towards your right shoulder um, and then see how that feels. We can stay there or we can bring this right hand over towards our left ear and just gently, gently pulling a bit more weight through that, um, through the head. We're just stretching down this left side. So think about stretching from the ear down towards your shoulder. Um, and if it feels too much, then try it without the hand. And if that's still too much, just bringing the head up a little bit. Going wherever we can. Great, so you've got your hand over your head, bring it back down again. With an inhale, let's bring the neck to centre. And then exhale, left ear towards the left shoulder this time. So shoulders nice and relaxed. And see how it feels on this side, we can stay there. We left arm over towards that right ear, and just gently putting a bit more weight through it. So stretching down um, the right side of your neck this time, great. Brilliant. So then inhale then we'll bring the hand back down and bring that neck back up to centre. Great. Ha right hand on right shoulder then. We're going to draw some circles with our elbows. So see how you feel they can be big or small. It doesn't matter as long as we're getting a nice big range of motion through that shoulder. So just rolling it round, seeing if we can get a full circle. Maybe just paying some attention and, and seeing if it's harder to get to some parts of that circle than others. And then we'll start to take it back round in the opposite direction as well. So maybe um, hearing some clunks or feeling some kind of clicks in that shoulder. Are you, are you, hello? 
Are you ready? Can bring that shoulder down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So hands on that left shoulder. And we'll draw a big circle again to see if we can get round. Round in one direction. Rolling it round and again, see how you feel. Noticing how this side feels compared to the other side. And you get that full range of motion. And then let's take it back in the opposite direction as well. So with an exhale, then let's bring that hand back down. Great. So let's interlace those hands, then press the palms away. So push the palms out in front. We're dropping the chin down towards the chest for a bit more of a stretch. So we can say, look into the hands if that feels like enough, or drop the chin towards the chest. So really pressing the hands away. So imagine the spine's rolling backwards, the shoulders are rolling forwards, and those shoulder blades are working out in opposite directions. Real good one if you, um, if you sit at a desk. So with an inhale then, let's lift the arms to the ceiling. So we can stay looking forward. We'll try and keep the shoulders down away from the ears. For more of a stretch, if you want it, then we'll look into those hands, but see how you feel. It's, um, yeah, it's up to you. Work wherever you can, great. With an exhale then let's undo those hands a real big circle let's take them round behind our back this time interlacing them again so we'll stretch the chest this time so see if we can press the heels of the hands together pull the hands down towards your mat so um elbows and shoulders are squeezing in nice and wide across the chest so we can stay looking forward or if you want to we'll look to the ceiling and taking some deep breaths again just checking in that we're not straining the neck Really good. So with an exhale, chin back towards the chest. Let's fold forward this time. So you can keep your hands to your lower back. Um, or we can start to lift the hands off for more of a stretch on that chest if you want to. Um, if either of those are uncomfortable, do like we normally do, hands out in front um, and relax down that way. So wherever your shoulders are feeling best. Okay. So with an inhale, hands back onto your lower back, and then we'll straighten ourselves back up into a seat position. Good, let's undo the hands then and come onto our hands and knees. We'll come and do cat cow. So knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, shoulders stack as well. We'll do cat cow. So breathing in then into cow, let that barely drop down, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes under into your cat. Great, breathing in and into cow, let the belly drop down, press through the hands. And then exhale, really press into the mat to lift the spine and the belly up. Inhaling into cow. And exhale for cat. One more of each, so breathing in. And then breathing out. Great. So then inhale then, let's bring ourselves back up, hands and knees. So we'll take our right leg out behind us. So you can rest the toes on the floor if you need to, or lift this right heel out. We're pressing nice and strong through that um, back foot. So we'll take a nice big inhale. As we exhale, can we draw the right knee up towards your right elbow? So it doesn't matter if it's not touching. Inhale, can we extend that right leg back out again? Exhale, bend it back in as if it's coming back onto the mat towards your left knee. And as we inhale, can we keep it bent, but take it out to the side, let naughty go. Great, inhale then press that heel back, nice and long again, long leg. Exhale, then knee towards your elbow. Inhale, extend all the way back. Exhale, bend it in as if it's coming back onto the mat next to this left one. And as we inhale, keep it bent, take it out to the side, moving that hip. Good, inhale, press that heel back, long leg. Exhale, right knee towards the right elbow. 
Inhale, extend back out. Exhale, bend and in, hover above the mat. Inhale, keep it bent, take it out to the side. Good, and then press the heel all the way back out. Really good, bring that knee back down and onto the mat. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So taking this left heel back, we'll rest your toes on the floor. Let's take an inhale there. Exhale, then knee towards your left elbow. Inhale, take it all the way back, press through the heel. Exhale, draw it in, then hover it above the mat next to your right one. Inhale, lift out to the side. Press that leg all the way back. Drawing it in. Taking it back out. Bringing it back in. Taking it back out to the side. Yeah, draw it back in. Press that heel back. Same again then. Draw it in with an exhale. Press it back out as we inhale. Bring it back in as we inhale. That was the exhale even. Take it to the side then as we breathe in. Back down as we breathe out. Press back through the heel. Good, last round then, drawing it in. Press the heel out behind you as you breathe in. Exhale, knee towards that right one. Inhale, lift that hip. Exhale, back down. Good, as we inhale, press the heel back. Exhale, let's bring this knee back down. Brilliant, well done. So keep your knees under your hips and let's come into puppy. So walking those hands out in front, bringing the forearms down. See how that feels? Rest your forehead on a block or on a cushion. Or keep walking those hands forward, softening the forehead towards the floor. Imagine that we've got that dip through the upper back. So relaxing the chest and those shoulders down. Just gently pressing the bum back. So see how you go. So if it's too much of a stretch, bring the forehead and your hands closer towards your knees. Um, if it's feeling like not enough of a stretch, we're taking them further forward, but keeping the hips on top of your knees. Just focusing on that breathing. Really good. So with an inhale then, let's walk those hands back up. So back onto your hands and knees again. Let's step our right foot forward then. So you're gonna bring your right foot through between those hands. So you're coming into a lunge position then. So you've got your right knee on top of your ankle, left knee down. Let's press through that foot. And with an inhale, let's reach the arms to the ceiling. Shoulders nice and relaxed or hands on hips. Here you go. Okay, pressing through the four corners of that right foot. with an exhale and just like we did in the warm-up let's interlace the hands behind our back see if we can press the palms together with an inhale we're pulling the hands down squeezing elbows and shoulders in lifting the chest and maybe look into the ceiling see how you feel and focus on some deep breaths Really good. So keep your hands interlaced as we inhale, bring yourself back up, shoulders back on top of those hips, keeping the four corners of this right foot pressing down. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, we're leaning forward. Right shoulders coming towards the inside of this right knee. So like a humble warrior, but with the left knee down. So softening down. You've got your option then if you want to, to lift the hands off that lower back for more of a stretch on the chest. Focusing on this breathing. So good old stretch for your right hip. Taking some real deep breaths. Yeah, 
brilliant. So with an exhale, just bring yourself up just a little bit, about halfway to where we normally would be. Undo those hands in and pop them down either side of your right foot. We're going to move into pigeon. So we'll start to heel toe our right foot over to the left side of your mat. And you can move it down towards this left hip to make it easier as well if you need to. So take it all the way over to this left side. When it's there, then we're going to bring our right knee down onto the mat behind that right wrist. So adjust as much as you need to. We can bring this right foot all the way back towards that left thigh and um, to make it a little less intense on this right side, wherever you can. And then we're just wiggling this left leg away then, left leg's nice and straight, hips and shoulders forward. So see how you feel, want this stretch in the right side of your hip, right side of your bum, um, rather than in your knee. So just as much as you need to. Stay in there where we can start to come down onto those forearms. See where we go. We can come all the way down. Softening down wherever we can. And just making sure that we've got no sensation in this um, right knee. So it's all in the hip. And just working wherever you can. And you can always bring those hands back up towards the knees if it feels like too much of a stretch. You don't want to be feeling anything in this right knee. Okay, nice and level with those hips. And try and focus on our breathing again. So if you're on your forearms and bring yourself gently back up again, hands in front of this left leg. <clears throat> Let's tuck our right, uh, left toes under. Hands in front of this right leg and tuck your left toes under. Just lifting that left knee off then, just ever so slightly. So you've got enough room to slide that right knee back and bring yourself back onto your hands and knees again. Great. So I just want to sway out those hips to start with. Keeping those, um, those hips, uh, those knees hip distance. We'll start to draw a figure of eight with those hips. So thinking about drawing a figure of eight, we could bring the weight forward into the hand. You could take the weight all the way out to the side. Then you push your bum back towards your heels and just moving the body round and drawing a number eight with your body. Just rolling it round in one direction. Noticing any tight bits through the body and then we'll take it back round in the opposite direction. See if you can draw your number eight. Going back round in the other direction now. And again, just moving into any little tight spots that we might have. Just do one more number eight. Great. So bring yourself back up onto those hands and knees. We'll step our left foot forward then this time. So bring your left foot forward. And we're coming into that lunge again. So we've got the four corners of the left foot down. When you're ready with an inhale, we're reaching those arms up. Great. Nice and relax through the upper body. Let's take some deep breaths. With an exhale, then let's interlace those hands behind our back. So we're going to stretch that chest open again. So keeping the press pressure through this left foot, hands pressed together if we can, squeeze in the shoulders and elbows in, lift the chest, pull the hands down, maybe looking up if it feels okay for your neck. Great, so nice and wide across the chest. Really good. So keep your hands interlaced with an inhale, stack those shoulders back on top of your hips again, come back to centre. And with an exhale in, really lean forward, so like Humble Warrior again, 
left shoulder towards the inside of this left knee and work in that way. And then see how you go, we could lift the hands off that lower back. So just work in wherever you can. Taking some deep breaths. And if it's feeling like too much, then we can always have hands on the lower back. So you don't have to lift up if it's, um, if it's too much of a stretch. Just uh, work wherever you can. Deep breathing. Press through this foot then with an inhale. Let's just bring ourselves back up a little bit. Undo the bind and we'll bring the hands down either side of your left foot. So coming into pigeon. So let's take this left foot over to the right side of your mat. We can move it down to this right leg um, if you need to. <clears throat> so take it all the way over. And when we're there, then we'll bring this left knee down behind your left wrist and see how you go then. So you can move the left foot down towards your right thigh um, to make it easier, whichever works best for you. Um, and then we'll straighten our right leg. So right leg's nice and straight. Hips and shoulders facing forwards and see how we feel then. So stretching around your left uh, hip, left side of your bum this time, not your left knee. So adjust if you need to. And we can stay there or start to soften down, keeping those hips level then to draw in the hips towards the mat. And relaxing all the way down, chest towards the floor. If you want more of a stretch. To see how you feel. So it's a real strong stretch pigeon. So work wherever you can. I'm trying to breathe into those tight spots. Really good. So if you're on your forearms then, let's bring ourselves back up, hands in front of this left leg. So if we just took our right toes under, then lift this right knee up ever so slightly, just so you can slide that left knee back, back onto our hands and knees. So again, maybe you wanted to sway the hips from side to side. And then let's do those uh, figure of eight knees again. Or figure of eight hips and move the body around, maybe taking the weight forward. You could push your bum back a bit like a child's pose. You could move the hips out to the side. So, whatever feels uh, best for you, just move the hips around, moving the shoulders as well, rolling it round in one direction. And then we'll go back, roll them back round in the opposite direction as well. Just do one more, number eight. Brilliant. So let's bring toes in, then knees nice and wide. Let's take a child's pose. So if you press your bum back towards your heels, and then let's walk the hands to the right side to start with. So stretch down the left. So just relax down as far as we can. If it's too much of a stretch on the left side, hands back towards the center a little bit. And take some deep breaths in. We're breathing into the left side. So you can straighten up if you need to. And with an inhale, bring your hands back to centre. And then exhale, let's walk them over to the left this time. So stretching down this right side. Again, just wherever you need to. So with an inhale, bring yourself back to centre. Let's take a couple of deep breaths in normal child's pose to see if you can soften your chest and forehead towards your mat. You're all pressing towards those heels. Oh, 
brilliant. So inhale, bring yourself back up onto your hands and knees. Um, and then when you're ready, just come to lay down onto your belly. And we'll come and do sphinx to start with. So bringing your forearms onto the floor, elbows um, about in line with your shoulders or just ever so slightly in front. <clears throat> So lower belly presses into the mat, tops of the feet press down as well. Can we imagine then that the elbows are pulling towards the feet and the chest is pulling forward, top of the head lifting up. So we're keeping the neck nice and long, ears away from the shoulders. Great. Just a nice gentle back bend. You can always um, make it a little bit easier by not pulling the elbows towards the feet um, so much. It's, uh, a little less intense that way. Really good. So in the next cell, we're taking those hands a little bit wider, just so you've got enough room to lower yourself all the way down. Bring those arms parallel then to the top of your mat. Step your hands on top of each other. Either rest your forehead there or rest an ear, whichever feels comfiest. And just try and let that lower back relax. Try and let those hips relax as well. Take some deep breaths. So let's reach our arms out in front and arms either side of your ears this time, forehead down onto the floor. When you're ready then with an inhale, can we point and stretch your right leg out behind you? So really pull those toes away from your uh, fingertips. And with an inhale again, left arm reaches forward. So right toes pull back, left arm reaches forward, long through the spine. So we try and keep breathing into our belly again. With an exhale, let's lower the arm and the leg down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, left leg points and stretches back this time. With an inhale, right arm reaches forward. Fingers reaching forward, heel and toes pressing back. Great, nice and long through the spine. With an exhale, then let's lower ourselves all the way back down. Let's pop hands underneath our shoulders then. When you're ready, push yourself up onto your hands and knees. And then we'll come onto our bums with our legs out in front. So whether you want to have um, legs crossed or, um, or legs out straight, doesn't matter. Whatever um, works best for you. <clears throat> so we'll come and stretch those shoulders a bit more then. So with an inhale, let's reach those arms out in front. So palms face down or about shoulder height. We'll come and do eagle uh, with our arms. So let's take our right elbow over the left one, then bend your elbows, fingers to the ceiling. You can grab the shoulders, that's the easiest option. Pressing the backs of the hands together, fingers to the ceiling or touch your palms, wherever you can. Either way, then we're gonna lift those elbows up um, to the ceiling. Squeeze the arms together and just ever so slightly pull them away from your face. So we're imagining then the shoulder blades on the back of the body are working away from each other, so we're pulling them apart um, rather than squeezing them together. Reach into the ceiling. So if you imagine the tops of the shoulders um, are working towards the mat, and that's when we start to feel a real good stretch on those shoulders, right? So with an exhale, let's undo them and reach them back out again. Palms face down, shoulder height. This time then bring your left one over your right. 
So again, we're going to grab the shoulders, touch the backs of the hands or press the palms, and then lift those elbows up until you're about shoulder height, fingers reaching to the ceiling and moving the arms away from the face ever so slightly, kind of squeeze them together. Moving those shoulder blades on the back of the body apart. Yeah, good. Take some deep breaths there. Before we then exhale, then let's undo those hands, reach them back out in front, and then uh, we'll bring those hands back down. Really good. Let's come on to our backs then, knees on the floor. We'll come and do bridge. Um, feet on the floor, not knees. Feet on the floor, knees bent. And we'll come and do bridge. <clears throat> so laying on our backs, we want to just be able to touch those heels with our fingertips. And our feet are about hip width. <clears throat> so with an inhale, let's reach those arms to the ceiling. And as we exhale, reaching them overhead. Now, if it feels too much with um, your arms straight, then just bend in those knees and bend in those elbows. <laughs> I'm just wondering what the doctor's doing. Bend in those elbows so it's not so much of a stretch on the arms. So it's up to you. Arms straight is a little bit more intense. And bend in the elbows um, to, uh, to make it a little bit easier. So we're going to press through those feet then and lift the hips up. But we're going to come about halfway as high as we normally do. So press down with an inhale, roll it up piece by piece to that pelvis. In fact, the knees working away from those fingertips. We're just coming about halfway. So it feels like a little bit of work, but not too much that you couldn't hold it there for a few breaths. So keeping the knees working towards each other. Just taking some deep breaths, press through the feet, lift through those hips. With an exhale, then nice and steady, let's start to roll our way down through the spine. So piece by piece, keeping the knees working in, lengthening through the sides of the body again. Hips are coming all the way back down. Yeah, well done. Let's bring the knees towards the chest and give them a good old squeeze in. Moving that weight around on the spine a little bit, rolling from side to side. So bringing the feet back down onto the floor and then bring the soles of the feet together. We're coming into bound angle. So soles of the feet together, knees out towards the mat and just wherever feels comfy for you. So um, making more of a diamond shape with those legs. If that feels better, move the feet away or draw them closer to the body for more of a stretch, wherever works best for you. So relax with those shoulders. If you want more of a stretch on the chest, then loosely grab those forearms, bring them down onto the mat above your head. I'll try and keep this lower back pressing down onto the mat as well. And press the feet together actually for more of a stretch on the inner thighs if you want it. And maybe closing the eyes and just focusing on that breathing. So with an exhale then, if you've got those arms above your head, just gently bringing them back down either side of your hips. And then nice and gently, just bringing the feet back down onto the floor as well. Knees are coming back in towards your chest. Good. Move the weight around then on that spine, rolling from side to side. And we'll come and take a twist. So let's straighten out our right leg along the mat then. Keep this left one hooked in. And we'll grab the knee with our right hand. Take a big inhale. 
for the next and then let's roll the knee over towards the right side keeping this left shoulder on the mat taking this left arm out nice and wide so work wherever you can draw that knee back to the ceiling for less of a stretch maybe rolling the neck to the left side if you want a bit more of a stretch there you go just focusing on that breath With an inhale then let's bring the neck to centre first so gently rolling this left knee back over to the left side when it gets there then right knee in to meet the left on both knees towards your chest lower that to press that lower back into the mat and we'll do the same thing then left leg out this time and keep the right one in left hand on your right knee take a breath in as we breathe out then we're rolling over to the left side keeping this right shoulder blade down right arm nice and wide whatever feels comfy for you maybe rolling the neck to the right side and just take that right knee back to the ceiling a bit if it's too much of a stretch to some deep breaths with an inhale then neck rolls up to center first let's take this right knee all the way back over to the right side bringing both knees in to meet to your chest and pressing that lower back gently onto the mat then we're just moving the weight around rolling from side to side moving over the spine and maybe popping hands on knees and just gently rolling that weight round rolling round in one direction and again we can go out onto the sides of the body if you need to and taking it back round in the opposite direction as well. And we'll take the knees nice and wide, drawing some big circles of those hips, and just moving them round in one direction. And then back round in the opposite direction as well. So drawing them back in towards your chest, squeezing them in, lower back on the mat. Brilliant. So when you're ready then, we'll come into Shavasana. So if you want to get yourself comfy, um, we'll do a pranayama first, So if, um, but you'll, we'll lay down for it. So if you want to um, get yourself comfy to start with, pop in anything warm on if, um, if you need it. So when you got yourself comfy then, we're going to do um, our four part breath, so uh, box breathing, um, we sometimes call it. Um, so wherever feels comfy for you, whether you want to have your knees bent again, feet on the floor. So we're going to be thinking about a box, so it's got four equal sides, you know, um, an image of a box into your mind's eye. <clears throat> Just gently closing the eyes. So if we imagine then we're going to breathe at one side of the box, 
holding the breath, holding those fun, full lungs as we move along the top of the box, uh, breathing out as we breathe um, as we come down the other side of the box, and then we're holding the empty lungs along the bottom of the box. So we're going to try and do that for four counts for each um, each side of the box. If that feels too much, um, then then slow it down. You know. Um, only do it for sort of three, three counts, or if it, you need a bit more, then do it for longer, just as long as each of the sides of the boxes is the same. So when you're ready then, and we'll start to think about the right side of the box, breathing in. And then moving across the top of the box, we're holding the breath. Breathing out down the left side of the box. Holding those empty lungs as we move along the bottom of the box. Okay, breathing in. Hold the breath. Breathe it out. Holding those empty lungs. Same again, then inhale. Hold the full lungs. Exhale. And then hold in the empty breath. Okay, one more round, then inhale. Holding onto it. And exhale. And hold in the empty lungs. Great. So just let that breath go back to normal again so we stop controlling it. The four part breathing, box breathing is, um, is really good um, if you're feeling anxious, if your breath's got a bit, um, a bit quicker, anything like that. Um, it's just a real good one, it gives you something to visualize as well, that box in your mind's eye um, and just, um, just working around the box for a few, a few rounds is, um, is a real calming uh, breath or pranayama practice um, to try. So um, something you can do. And actually the holding of the full lungs and the holding of the empty lungs is really good um, for winter for kind of increasing the, um, the the lung capacity and for strengthening the, those muscles around your lungs as well so really good for for winter time so when you get yourself nice and comfy then we'll come into our shavasana to finish so just clearing the mind of any stresses or worries that you might have Just softening down from the very top of the head. And relaxing the eyebrows and the eyes. The cheeks and the jaw. And just let the chest and the belly soften. Relaxing down the front of those legs, all the way down to those toes. And just starting to notice then all the places on the back of the body that are pressing down into the mat. And just let those areas get heavier and heavier. Just allowing the whole body to completely relax and just absorb all the benefits from the practice we've just done.
We'll start to take a deeper breath again. Bring a bit of movement then back through those fingers and just gently wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes. Moving the ankles and the, um, and the wrists round as well. Oh, just gently roll that neck over to the right side. So again, just nice and gently, wherever feels comfy. Back to centre again. Roll it over towards the other side. Moving it back to centre. And just do the same thing over towards the right again. Back to centre. Over towards the left. You come back to centre again. Right. When you're ready then, let's take a, a real big full body stretch. So reaching out. You can bring those knees back in towards your chest, giving them a good old squeeze in again. And just moving around on that spine, so rolling gently from side to side if, um, if your back still feels all right. And when you're ready, we can just roll ourselves over onto our right hand side and just have a, a couple more deep breaths. Come back up to seated when you're ready, but there's no rush. Pop you on mute. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. It's a nice mellow one for a, for a oh, Friday yeah, morning. So well yeah. done. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, thank you very, very much for coming as always. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, and I will see you at some point next week, hopefully. Yeah. So namaste, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. namaste. Very welcome. Nice to see you all. I'm Bye. sorry Bye. if I upset.